This is Yvonne Strahovski, and you're listening to Chuck Bosses Podcast. Hi, my name is Graham Jones, but you can call me Gray. This is my show. It's about Chuck. It's filled with interviews, the latest news, crazy co-hosts, and spoilers that'll make your day. Oh, wait, wait, I need to go back. I host these TV nights. They used to be pretty boring, but everything changed when I found NBC's new show, Chuck. Pretty soon, my TV night got pretty crowded. Guys I didn't even know were showing up the door. Big important guys. Really scary, nasty, get killed for hosting them guys. Next thing I know, these super episodes are downloaded into my brain. Which means every moment of my life, I'm thinking about Chuck. ChuckTV.net sent their top people to protect me. That's Mel and Liz. They're pretty zany. They co-host with me now as a cover. So now I must welcome you to Chuck vs. the Podcast. The first and only podcast for NBC's Chuck. This is Gray. This is Mel. And I'm Liz. And you're listening to episode one of Chuck vs. the Podcast for Wednesday, January 23rd, 2008. We've got an exciting show planned for you, including an interview with none other than Australian actress Yvonne Strahovski, who plays CIA agent Sarah Walker on the show. Mel, you got to tell us, what was it like talking with her? It was great. She's really sweet, and she had a lot of um, interesting things to say about not just working on Chuck, but some other things that she's been doing, um, especially her theater work. So that was fun. I can't wait to hear about it. Who are we? As for me, I'm a TV editor and writer located in Toronto. And Mel and Liz, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourselves, especially what you do for the Chuck fans? I'm Mel, and I'm from Kansas, and I work at a local university here. And I'm Liz, and I live in Chicago. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and I'm a homeschooler, homeschool the kids. And we are all confessed chuckaholics. Yeah, the first step in recovery is admitting you have a problem. I have a problem. I have a problem. I have a problem and two little problems. <laughs> <laughs> well, together, Liz and I run um, ChuckTV.net and YvonneStrahovski.net. Which are two amazing websites. You really have to check them out. Beautiful layout. Uh, lots of great information, relevant and current. Great news. I'm going to say it again. I love promoting these guys. ChuckTV.net and IvanStrahovski.net. That's Strahovski with an I. And if you still can't spell that, just go to ChuckTV.net. And there's a link there that will take you to IvanStrahovski.net. www.ChuckPodcast.com is uh, the main site where you can get all the latest episodes. It's a pretty simple site. It's basically just a content delivery system. Uh, all the newest info and that kind of thing you're going to get from Chuck TV and Ivanstrahovsky.net. As, as Gray was saying, on our websites we have um, we try to keep up with all of the latest news. We post the high resolution photos for the episodes, and we also post a couple thousand screen caps for each episode after they air. Do you say in the thousands? Yes, a couple thousand. It's usually around 1,800 to 2,100 screen caps. So you practically have the whole episode as a slideshow. Pretty much. We want to catch all of the little details because, you know, they have so many great sight gags in there, too. Oh, absolutely. The reason for so many partly is it makes it easier for those fans who are really into their Photoshopping, making wallpapers and icons and graphic banner signatures, myself being one of them. It's just fun to have more to play with, um, different head poses, different hand motions that can be reproduced on a graphic can be pretty cool, pretty interesting. So. Yeah, Liz makes some really cool stuff. I am not at all guilty of that. <laughs> a little bit sarcastic because I did that uh, teaser. I have a lot of fun with that stuff. Yeah, the teaser is really awesome. But yeah, the the more complicated stuff, I leave that up to Liz. So what more can you tell us about your sites? Well, we also have a forum where um, we don't have a lot of people posting right now, you know, because we've been in hiatus. But with these new episodes coming, I hope there's going to be a lot to discuss. So you should come over and join and um, talk about what's going on. Absolutely. Especially with Chuck. It's so much fun to just sit and chat about our favorite Chuck, our yeah. favorite dude, our favorite geek. We're going to talk a little more about the, the strike later on and what it means for Chuck fans. But what I've been rediscovering, and, and I think it's a great idea for, for you, especially all of you in the U.S. I'm, of course, in Canada. In the U.S., you can download the episodes um, on the NBC site. Is that correct? Yes, you can do it there. We also have a link to Amazon.com where you can actually purchase them for, I think it's like $1.99 or $1.89 and download them directly to your computer and watch them anytime you want. And then I believe iTunes you can also download. We unfortunately don't have that here in Canada. Hopefully it'll be coming soon. But I taped them all. I, I did it the old-fashioned way. 
and what I'm loving doing is is actually going back and rewatching all of the episodes. I'm finding the second viewing is literally just as good as the first. Sure, there's so many extra new things that you pick up when you watch it again for the second and the third and the fourth time. That's what's so great about this show is that it's so layered. There's always something new to see. Now, Mel, you've been working with fans for the writers and have been asked by them to be the fan liaison for Chuck. I just noticed that on your website, uh, posting that publicly. Can you tell us more about this? Sure. Um, it's actually fansforwriters.com, and the four is the number four. And they are working with pretty much every fandom and every writer to match up liaisons so that the writers have a way to talk with the fans and say, you know, hey, we appreciate your support. Here are other ways you can help us as we're engaged in the strike. And it's also a way for the fans to ask the writers, you know, what's going on? How can we help? Just kind of keep both sides up to date because, you know, the fans, without the fans, there aren't any shows. So this is a way for the fans to have a voice in the middle of all of this. I'm loving it. It's pretty awesome on this side because we're able to get some great interviews. Can you tell us about some of the people you've interviewed already? Sure. I've interviewed, of course, Yvonne Strahovski, which we'll be hearing later. Julia Lang, who plays Anna Hu in Czech, the lone girl nerd herder and Morgan's soulmate, I think. And also Sarah Lancaster, we talked with a few weeks ago. And we're going to get a lot more on the podcast, we hope, in the next few months. Absolutely. So this this takes us in, I guess, to strike news. You were mentioning that Fans for the Writers is something that's associated with the writer's strike. What can you tell us about what's going on with the strike right now? Well, there are a couple of uh, recent developments in the past uh, week or so. The Directors Guild reached an agreement recently with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. And that looks to be at least a stepping stone for the writers to come back to negotiate. And there are reports of preliminary talks starting up between the studios and the writers again that just came out this weekend. So we're hoping that's a really positive step forward and, and that this is on the way to being resolved because we want more Chuck. You know, I was reading about on, on ChuckTV.net about an activity that fans can participate in. Yes. Les Moonves, who's the president of CBS, has indicated publicly that he's ready to return to the table to negotiate with the writers. And the CBS fans a couple of weeks ago launched a call-in and write-in campaign in support of the statement to to say, we support you, Les, we're, we're behind you, we want you to get back to the table. Um, and so now those fans are, are calling for um, the non-CBS fandoms to get involved now and say, we support you and, and we, want all, we want all of the networks to get back to the bargaining table and make a deal. So they're asking for... Uh, for example, for fans of Chuck, to call Les Moonves directly. Actually, you'll get his secretary, but this number does bypass the CBS switchboard, so I'm going to go ahead and give it to you. It's also posted at ChuckTV.net. The number to call is 212-975-4545. And that does take you directly to Les Moonves' secretary and just very politely say, this is Mel, I'm in Kansas, and I'm a fan of NBC's Chuck. We heard that Mr. Moonves is, is ready to get back to the bargaining table with the writers, and we just wanted to say we're happy to hear that, and we want the writers to have a fair contract so we can get our shows back. And we're hoping that his example will be followed by other executives. It's a way for the fans to say, you know, don't forget about us. We're a part of this also. And then the address where you can write a letter to him is also posted at checktv.net. So if you're interested in doing that as a form of support for the writers, then go for it. Yeah, and, and I think it's really important that people realize that your voice is very important. Both sides, the, the writers and the networks, they believe obviously very strongly in their positions, but a lot, of it, a lot of it is they're guessing what fans want, and we want to let them know what we want. It's really cool in this age with the internet being able to bring us all together in a united way, it, that gives us the chance to, to speak up in mass and say, hey, this is what we want. We want to be sure that our voice is being heard in the middle of all of this also. And again, that, all that info is on ChuckTV.net? Yes, it's under the heading Writer's Strike. Well, you can find out more about all of this, um, including what's, what's going on with Internet rights. They have a lot of that information posted at fansforwriters.com and also at unitedhollywood.com, which is the uh, portal that the, the writers are actually using. Now, we do want to move into other news. Now, I'm a Canadian, and uh, I don't want for you Americans to be envious of this, but uh, Chuck did air on Monday in Canada. Actually, both episodes aired back-to-back -back on City TV and uh, and are also airing on, on Thursday night on NBC, carried here in, in Canada. 
But um, Mel, can you can you explain? There's a something, some kind of a sandwich deal going on on Thursday night in the states. NBC is giving us a Chuck sandwich tomorrow night, Thursday night, the twenty fourth. First episode of Chuck will air at eight seven Central, and then there will be an episode of Celebrity Apprentice at nine eight Central, and then the second episode of Chuck will air after that at ten nine Central. So we will be getting both episodes of Chuck in one night. Want to spend Thursday night with me? How about a sandwich? Okay, guys, I can't do this. Yeah, yes, you can. Look, you're doing great. This is Thursday on NBC. It's a Chuck sandwich, an all-new Chuck followed by an all-new Apprentice, and then another all-new Chuck, all hosted by us, the cast of Chuck. I'm telling you, Yvonne, it is so sexy. So sexy. Man, free food. Adam, I, I wouldn't eat that. That's a plastic sandwich. Hit me with that. Yeah, you got it, buddy. Work it. Work that camera, bro. Show them Thursdays are about. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it seems from that promo that they're actually going to be doing things in between in, in that sandwich. During the two episodes of Chuck that will be airing, the cast themselves are going to host it. And you'll actually hear Yvonne talking a little bit about shooting those promos and in her interview coming up. Now, about the podcast, where you can find us, if you found this one, you got one place. But at www.chuckpodcast.com, you can get the latest episode, you can get a teaser, you can get current news about the podcast. There's an FAQ, which you can find all this information and a little bit of info about us. But you can find us on iTunes, you can find us on Podcast Alley, and you'll notice on our website there's a subscribe button. If you click that button, you can get your iTunes to subscribe so that whenever a new episode comes out, it'll sense it automatically. And so it's a lot less work to do that. Now, there's two flavors. There's the enhanced AAC, which is far preferable because you get all the images to the podcast, web links and chapters and, and things like that. So you can skip ahead or skip back through the images. If you have an iPod, it supports that format. If you play it on your computer through iTunes or through QuickTime Player, you can see enhanced AAC. But we also give you an MP3 version just in case you have an MP3 player that doesn't support those extra features. So make sure that if you if you can't view enhanced AAC, go to the podcast MP3 link.